Okay, so here's our Grove level map. I'm going to show you how to do very simplistic um, visible line blocking. And in this particular scenario, we're just going to use this map as is. We're not going to make hardly any modifications. So uh, we'll zoom in here and, well, we'll keep out. And the first thing we're going to do is going to go to visible line blocking and we're going to block the whole thing. So basically, you can't see anything. And we'll go to like room 42 to start with. And we're going to carve out, so it's the reverse of, hold the shift key down. And we're going to carve out, oops, the shift and control key. The control key um, snaps to grid, the shift is the reverse of. So we're going to carve out that. And we'll carve out that. And we'll carve out that. And that room. And that room. And that room. So it's not perfect, but we're we'll making progress. We'll carve out the whole block there, actually. And we'll carve out this whole block. We could have just done the whole thing. Okay, we'll carve out part of this hallway here. I'm just gonna kind of give you an idea of what we're doing, what we're gonna do here. And we'll carve that out. And that out. Okay, so there's some basic carving. And I'll go back to our selection tool. We're gonna go grab a token. I like using Mr. Hero here. We're gonna drag our hero in here. And we're going to go view, show as player, map, uh, fog of war, map, vision, uh, night. So we're going to fortunately have light. And we can't see anything, but um, oops. Go back into this guy. And we're going to say he has vision, and we're going to use dark vision because it's easiest. There we go. You have to move them in order to actually see. What is the problem here? Oh, he's not a player. Uh, PC. Something still is not right. I can see, but I think we got one of the properties set wrong. Um, oh, it's under campaign properties, preferences. Auto expose fog. That's the one I wanted. Wow, that took a while. So now, as I move them around, it'll auto expose, and you can see the rooms. Okay, that's pretty simple. Uh, view show us player. Go back to here. Now we're going to add in some extra line blocking. And we'll carve part of this out too. So again, I'm holding the shift key down to expose the rest of that. Okay, and now I'm going to hold the control key down to snap to grid, and we're going to ooh, draw a box around all of this, and around this. I don't like that one actually, so we're going to clear that out. Um, because it's not lined up on the grid very well, I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm not I'm not holding on the control key this time. And just draw a regular line here across this door. 
And there's no door there. And we'll draw a line across this door, like so. Now we go view X show as player, and turn the fog of war back on. You can see that I can't see that door anymore. If we can reset this. And as a dungeon master, what you do is you would, when they open the door, you would basically um, hold the shift key down and hold and draw out that uh, fog of war. And then you basically t touch the token a little bit, and, and now they could go through that door. Same thing with all these doors. If you wanted to open them, you basically go to fog of war and or visible line blocking, and you. Hold the shift key down and open the doors up. Pretty cool, huh? Now this particular version of map tool does not enforce um, movement or where you can move. So you can actually walk through the visible line blocking there. Um, they're working on newer versions that might take care of that. We'll see. So that's the very simplistic version of that. Now I'm also going to show you in part three how to improve this just somewhat.